Now, Barack Obama did this even when Ash Carter, the man who gave him some medal last week, uh, Barack Obama asked for, Ash Carter even said, please don't do this. Everyone in the Defense Department was saying, please don't do this. Yet Barack Obama today has to look himself in the mirror and know that he let a criminal go that put American lives at risk. Oh, he's, Grant, he's happy about it. You saw the White House statement from yesterday, I'm sure, and the remarks by Josh Ernest. They're celebrating the fact that this president has commuted and pardoned more than Clinton and Bush. I mean, they're celebrating this. They saw the statement that went out yesterday evening. They think it's a great thing. And that's, again, we've talked about this before, the rot that's in the justice system. There's no deterrence. So now what message does this send to individuals who would like to get their hands on classified information and give it to America's enemies? that it's okay if you're of the right political persuasion, that it's okay if you believe according to whoever's in the White House, that it's okay so long as you got someone in the White House who thinks like you do and who's going to commute your sentence or is going to issue you a pardon. Because in addition, not only was, was Manny's sentence commuted, there were a number of other, it was like an Oprah pardon commu commutation giveaway. Everybody gets one if you're in the studio audience, right? But then additionally, he also commuted the sentence of, the, of a guy who set a hundred 135 bombs around everywhere, terrorizing everyone over Puerto Rican independence. And this guy, this guy also had his sentence commuted. And this apparently is a thing to celebrate in the White House, that people who choose to be America's enemies of their own volition are celebrated and they face no punishment and they face no deterrent at all whatsoever. That sends a really strong message. So